Cheers! Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to back. Movie Bitches. We took a bit of a hiatus. A little bit of a summer break. Busy, um, busy. But we're busy bees, but we're back. <laughs> Uh, and we're going to review two movies today that could not be more different. Mm -mm. Impossible. 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 Yeah. The funniest movie of the year. Um, 100%. But not intentionally. No. Uh, baggage Claim. There ain't no oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, there were just so many wonderful moments in that film. So, um, Baggage Claim, if you don't know, yes. which you probably don't. You've probably not heard of it. Is pretty much... Uh, that movie, What's Your Number? Thinking that maybe you'd want to be my date to my sister's wedding. I can't go to my little sister's wedding single. You help me track down my exes, I'll help you escape yours. Why not revisit somebody else? For the next few weeks, any of your exes that flies anywhere at any time, we're gonna know. Right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Mixed Evans. with, like, eight other movies? It's like eight different scripts in mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Paul Patton falls in and out of love. Eight times in the movie, she is like ready to marry eight different. Oh my guys. god! You spent your whole life being your own woman. Why are you going to change that? I just would really like to be somebody else's too. I forgot. So we start off the movie. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, what? The first part of the movie has nothing to do with the rest of the movie at all. Um, we start off the movie. She's been like dating this guy a couple times. He invites her to Chicago for Thanksgiving. Yep. Um, and they go out. And there's like this. Room Ridiculous yacht scene. They're on a boat in November in Chicago. In November in Chicago, and she's wearing like a light sweater. She like creepy stalks him. He has a wife already. And all of this is completely irrelevant yeah. to the rest of the movie. Except for the fact that she attracts horrible people. Into yeah, life, I guess that's apparently. basically, apparently. Uh, her name is Montana Moore. Montana Moore. Damon Diesel. Montana. Quentin. Montana. Langston. Montana. Curtis. Yeah. And then and the a... guy that her, she ultimately falls in love with is, of course, Mr. Wright. Side-eye. His name. His name. Side-eye. His name is Mr. Wright. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. To clarify. He is both He's not Mr. just Mr. Wright, Wright and Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright. And now she'll be Mrs. Wright. Barf. Mm, her, only, her only character trait. Yeah, was that she was always forgetting something in her in his car. And she would call at like 3 in the morning and be like, I need a ride to the airport to go hook up with this guy. She was a terrible friend. She really was. And and it's like, oh, and like, this is how we deliver it. Oh, she's always forgetting something. I was waiting for like the laugh track to kick in. It definitely seemed like that. It was so bizarre. <sighs> but there's a colorful, oh my gosh, I was just about to say colorful cast of characters. Yikes! That's oh. not what I meant. I just meant that everybody <laughs> shows up. Yes. It's a huge cast. Hey, Diggs shows up and he's yeah. not very funny. No. But he tries to be. And he's got a weird chin beard. It's not cute. Mm -mm. Jaimin Huntsu shows up uh, and he has a... His accent is so thick you can't understand what he's saying. We were always lucky that there was an empty seat next to you so we could talk. It wasn't Mark. I pay for both seats. We pronounced her name. Montana! Montana! Montana. This was... I'm pretty sure most of his lines were 80 yards. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like 97% of his lines were 80 yards. Yeah. <laughs> so this was the funniest part of the movie, for me, was when he's introduced, it's like, oh, right. you know, it's a close-up on her, like something's happening or whatever, and then she says something, and it pans up, still in close-up to him. Very close. Like, extreme close. And literally the entire theater goes, <gasps> <laughs> and then 30 and then seconds everybody later, laughed. everybody also just bursts out laughing because it was the, the it only scary. reaction possible. The same thing happened when I saw, embarrassing, when I saw Twilight at Midnight. Oh my God. There's a shot in it where, oh my gosh, sorry, sorry in advance. Bella has just gotten woken up from the hospital, right? And she's all asleep, and she opens her eyes, and there's this extreme close-up of her mom. Mom. And the entire audience went, oh! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, um, Adam Brody shows up. Oh, yeah, as a gay guy, gay, as a gay flight attendant. Gay, sassy flight attendant. Mm -hmm. Why is it so hard to find the right guy? Tell me about it. Tell me about it. 
I have to say he was the best part of the movie. He knew what movie he was He in. knew what movie he was in. Everyone else thought he they were making camped a it up. Everyone else thought they were making a real movie. Yeah. He he realized what was happening. He was cashing the check. Yeah, he was like, Oh, I was on the OC, I know what's happening. This is not real. <laughs> Wait. Can we talk about her clothes and how <laughs> none of them fit and she was dressed like a sophomore in high school? Like Empire waist baby doll dresses, and Paul Madden's not a skinny little no, lady. She no. looks good, but she's a woman. She has, like, yeah, a figure. And they dressed her. Oh, my God. It was terrible. So the whole time she looks like a football player in drag, and she's just... <laughs> she looks like... She's like, oh, that's the other, like, romantic comedy trope. She's so clumsy, oh, and she's yeah. always in a hurry. So she's constantly like, oh, my God. I haven't seen you in eight years. Let's go out tonight. Yeah. Let's have dinner tonight and let's have like a really serious conversation about they how even, we're gonna get married. Had she like had they established that she used to look terrible, I mean it still would have been offensive. Mm. But had she like been even more of a mess? Right. Or like I had braces or I had bad hair. Yeah. And then now she looks super smoking hot, so like you should go back, which is a terrible message. It should not be a movie either, but it would make more sense like now but it has been hot. Yeah. You totally want to go out with me. Right. Nope. Nope. She just looked the same. Yeah. As she did in high school. Yep. Didn't make any sense. Didn't make any sense. Any sense. At all. But it was hilariously bad. I laughed so hard I cried three Twice. times. Twice. Three times. Three yeah. times. And, um... As did the people sitting next to us. Oh, man. Everyone was rolling. Yeah. Um, so and particularly by the end with Montana. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so... You know, I would say if you need a good laugh yeah. on like a lonely Go Friday see it night with or your something, friends or do that and make fun of it, or watch on Netflix and make fun of it, because it'll be out in a month probably. Yeah, it's not good.